Hello, I'm John Ortema, the owner of the Gymnastics Academy of Atlanta, and we're very proud to be the host this year of NXL Regional Championships. Um, this year's championships will be held here at the Lake Point Champion Center in Cartersville, Georgia. Uh, it is the, probably the largest indoor venue in our area, and definitely in the southeast, it's 130,000 square feet of wood basketball court. Um, so it makes a great venue for this event. Um, there will be plenty of room for social distancing, plenty of seating. We can get, probably seat up to 5,000 people here, so there'll be plenty of room for awards and all those things. So we're real proud and very happy to have this facility available to us. Um, Lake Point is located about 45 minutes north of Hartsfield International Airport um, in Atlanta. And also, too, um, if, if you want to look into it, you can probably fly into Chattanooga as well if you're looking for maybe a less expensive ticket and or if it, it fits your travel needs better. So you can look at that part of it as well if you want to fly into Chattanooga. It's probably about an hour. I think it's about an hour and 15 minutes south of Chattanooga, um, something of that nature. So, so our website, first of all, let's get started there, is you can go to the gymnasticsacademyofatlanta.com and then click on meets and then you'll see the logo in the region A, uh, XL Regionals 2021 um, badge there. You click on that or you can go right to the website, which is region 8 XL2021.com. Either way, um, it works out for us and we'll get you there. Um, the hotel, inf hotel information is posted on the website. Um, we suggest you book your hotel rooms as soon as possible. The schedule won't be posted till April 19th uh, because we have some late, late state meets and you states know which ones you are. Um, and, but the hotels are out there, they're ready to be booked um, and there's a lot of choices there. So um, head out there and get them done as soon as you possibly can. One of the great things about this venue too is very close to us, you have the city of Cartersville and the city of Ackworth We're between the two and there's a lot of really great restaurants in both places. So we'll have a concierge desk here at the meet um, when you come up. Uh, you, they'll have restaurant information there. So you have you know, plenty of places to eat, um, good, great, really good food. So um, I think you'll enjoy that. Of course, we're not that far from downtown Atlanta. So you have the Georgia Aquarium, um, the World of Coke, the College Football Hall of Fame, and then Thursday night before the meet on the 29th of April, the Braves are in their last game against the Chicago Cubs. And I know a lot of y'all, when you come to town, want to go to a Braves game. So it's just that Thursday night before the meet starts. Then they think they go off to Toronto for three after that. So, um, so make, you know, get your tickets for that. If you want to do that, there, there will be tickets are available now. So, okay. So probably the most important thing is COVID protocol. And so let's talk a little bit about that. Um, a couple things to know, Lake Point is a, a, a COVID vaccination center. They're vaccinating about 3,000 people a day here in the parking lot that you guys normally park in if you come to our meets. Um, they will be shut down for our event so that we can have our event um, and they'll stop vaccinating. Um, and so, but it's still going to, you're going to see all the tents and things like that. Don't be afraid. It's, that's what's going on here. And there'll be signs and all that sort of thing. So, um, you know, understand that's going on. So as far as COVID goes with the meet though, this is our fifth meet we've hosted this year here in this venue. And um, we've gone up with very few, if any hiccups at all. Um, there will still be at that point a mask mandate. So everybody please know that when you come in this building, you're gonna need to wear your masks the entire time you're in the building. There'll be no exceptions. Um, everyone will have to wear their masks. So that's the first thing. Um, now we have a full COVID protocol here that's listed on the website. So again, go to region eight, um, xl2021.com to um, to see that that protocol take a good look at that now here's the big question is we're getting a lot of phone calls on this already is how many people can we bring in to the meet right now every gymnast is limited to two people okay we're hoping that's going to change the governor of georgia came out and, and and already stated that sometime in april things are going to change but we don't know which direction we don't know how so just keep your eye on the website before you come in but right now it's only two people are allowed in with for each gymnast okay um that is that's two spectators sorry coaches obviously and gymnasts don't count to that number i mean that's pretty much it as far as the covid protocol goes um we please follow along when you walk in the door we're going to direct everybody in, into gym a and gym b and then um seating obviously try to social distance there'll be signs everywhere and and tape and into whatever the number is right now we don't know if it's going to be six feet three feet we we don't know but we'll make it vividly clear when you get here um, what that's going to be. So uh, that's most of it. Um, so, uh, meet director is Keena Dunn, and you can email her at Keena at gymnasticsacademyofatlanta.com um, with your questions. And, uh, you know, we're looking forward to having everybody. It's really exciting. We love hosting y'all, and uh, we, we hope you're going to love the venue and, and, uh, and have a great meet. Again, congratulations.
for making regionals. Y'all take care. Hi, I'm Marion Dykes. Welcome to Regionals 2021, the year of the pandemic. We are so excited to be here as the judging panel. After no regionals in 2020, 2021 promises to be a fabulous year. I want to go over a couple of things with you that may make our journey through the regional weekend easier. As already noted, we must have on a mask. I don't think you need to go as far as I did with multiple masks, but we want to be sure we're there and safe for the athletes. I want to ask you as coaches, if you have a skill that has not been performed in competition before, to be sure and submit the paperwork you have on that skill so your athlete receives the proper value. That paperwork should be given to me prior to the session of your athlete that is participating in and I will present it to the judges to make sure that all judges give the same value. I am here all weekend if you have questions on anything that your athlete has done or things that you may be thinking of changing for your athlete. If you have anything that the athlete has done that leads you to question a score, I would like to talk to you about it prior to submitting any inquiry. Once you actually submit the inquiry, it could result in your score being raised or lowered or may stay the same. Therefore, we want to be sure that you really want to inquire before paperwork is submitted. We would ask coaches to only have the competitive athletes for that session on the floor. If there are extra athletes there as spectators, that will have to happen through admissions who will govern the social distancing required, and the number of people allowed in the stands. The only competition athlete should be in the floor for that session. This competition is true open scoring. Each judge will flash their start value at their judging table, and their individual scores will be flashed on the electronic scoreboard. If a coach misses that, please feel free to ask me, and I will look that up for you, prior to any inquiry. Coaches are reminded there should be no signals or verbal cues. And even bars, you may have more help than you are used to. Please be sure that the bars are set accurately and tightened accordingly. In addition, be sure that the board is moved so that there is no deduction for failure to remove the board. Regionals is a true draw you may not change your order because of bar settings or because of height of gymnasts on other apparatus. Regionals does mandate that you go in the order that is drawn. Double check before competition that each gymnast only has one stud earring per ear. There cannot be any large earrings or hoops and there can be no other jewelry. Please remind the gymnast that the hip bone should not be exposed by pulling their leotard up. Please remember that the meet referee table is near the head table. If you have any questions during the competition or want to file an inquiry, please bring that to me at the head table. We hope you have a terrific competition. We are looking forward to it and I wish the best of luck to your athletes. Good luck. I am ready for competition. <laughs> Hello, I'm Elaine Wolf, your Region 8 XL Chair. I'm very happy to be welcoming you to the 2021 Region 8 XL Championships in Cartersville, Georgia. This past year has been a challenge for all of us. So it's particularly meaningful to once again be able to hold this event for our talented gymnasts. The 2021 XL Championships may look a little different than they have in the past, and there are certainly additional protocols we must all adhere to. However, I'm sure you all agree 
it's well worth it to provide our gymnasts with an exciting, safe, and memorable season-ending competition. Good luck to all your athletes, and see you in Cartersville. Hello, I'm Deb Carnegie, your Region 8 Administrative Committee Chairman. Congratulations for qualifying athletes to excel regionals. We are so excited that our athletes get to have a competition season in 2021. I hope this video gives you the information you need to have a successful regional competition. Even though you watch this entire video, you will still need to come to the very first part of the coaches meeting during stretch of each session. Coaches, once you enter the competition area, please have at least one of your coaches check in at the scores table as soon as possible. Rotation sheets will be taped down to the table and there will be a highlighter provided. Please find your gym's name at the top of the rotation sheet and highlight it. This will shorten our roll call at the coaches meeting. If you have any scratches, please mark through your gymnast's name with a pen, but leave their competition number showing. By doing this, if we have to rearrange squads, we will be able to do it prior to the main coaches meeting. If scratches make the squads unbalanced, we will do a draw to move athletes into another squad to balance out the session. Your starting event could change. Each session is divided into four age groups and gymnasts receive medals for 50% of the age group for event and 100% for all around. State team sessions. There will be two age groups in each state team session. At Excel Regionals, there is no individual club team competition. The top four scores per event count for team score for state team competitions, except for Diamond, and the top three scores count for team score there. Apparel for the state team competition is provided by your state's chairman. Please take a minute to thank your state chairman for this apparel for the state team competition. Each athlete in the state team competition will receive a plaque during stretch and at the end of the session during awards they will receive a plate to put on their plaque if their team scored one through three. USA Gymnastics requires that all participants and spectators wear a facial covering and maintain social distancing throughout the duration of any gymnastics state and regional championship event. Facial coverings should be fitted or cone style and consist of multi layers of fabric. Bandanas, neck gaiters, face shields, and masks with valves are not permitted. These must be worn during all competition. Coaches must wear facial coverings at all times and maintain social distancing when not spotting. During the competition, athletes must wear facial coverings at all times outside during performance of gymnastics. All other participants, judges, event staffs, and spectators are required to wear facial covering at all times and may maintain social distancing. Below is a link for the mask mandate. All athletes that are 18 years or older must complete Safe Sport U110 before they can compete at regionals. There will be a banner at the chief judge table for each event. That way you can orient your gymnast to know which one to salute to begin her routine. Please complete the high school senior forum that is on the Region 8 website. That's www.region8gymnastics.org so that we can honor each one of our high school seniors at the award ceremony. We will have training camp forms available at regionals. Also, the address book form is online. That is very helpful for your state and regional chairmen at this time of year to get all the information you need to you. Region 8 Congress is July 15th through the 18th in New Orleans, Louisiana. Apparel for the state team competition is provided by your state. Now there's a dog. Mm. During all competition, coaches must wear facial coverings at all time and maintain social distancing except when spotted. I'm going to do that again because there's more kayakers coming. I'm gonna... And gymnasts receive medals for 50% age group event. Mm. There's an airplane. I'm going to do that over. Coaches must wear regional apparel at nationals. If you have any scratches, please mark through the athlete's name and 
Other participants, judges, event staffs, and spectators are required to wear facial covering at all times and may maintain social distancing.